good morning. The time has come for me to take you along on an event with me. This is probably one of the most request videos that I've gotten. Um, and the reason I haven't done it so far is because usually events, especially farmer's markets, are so crazy that I don't even think about picking up my phone. Um, and usually they're pretty early, so I'm also just like not in the mindset to be jumping on the camera. But today is a later event. It's usually a slower event, so it's the perfect opportunity for me to bring you along. I did request to have my inspection today, which we can chat more about later. So we'll see. There might be some like issues with actually getting an inspector out today, which would be a bummer. Um, but let's get the day started. Okay, so I stopped at Meyer to kind of get the last minute things that I needed. I got two gallons of milk, some mocha sauce, and that's pretty much all I needed. I kind of have everything else ready to go. Um, what I found out is, so in Michigan, once you are inspected as an STFU, you are able to operate in any county, but before you have an event, four days prior to an event, you have to send a notice of intent that you'll be operating in each county. So. The county that I will be in, um, I have emailed before a notice of intents and they've responded back. Um, but I guess that was not the proper email that I was using. So when I sent this most recent one um, with my request to be inspected, it was the wrong email. So they didn't get it and it didn't go through. So technically, because we were talking about it today, that's not four days notice. So they were gonna try to like make it happen. Um, but they suggested that I just reschedule. So I will be rescheduling my inspection, which is a little bit of a bummer because this event um, wasn't totally like monetarily worth it last time I went. So I'm just gonna use it as content and promotion and just really like cleaning and prepping the trailer for the inspection, which hopefully I can get rescheduled fairly soon. So just for transporting, I put my milks, some ice, cold brew, and the syrups that need to be refrigerated. And then I throw another layer of ice on top. And this is just for transport. As soon as the fridge gets to temp, then I'm able to move all of these items into our fridge in the trailer. One thing you'll want to keep in mind is that based on the weather, the fridge takes quite some time to get to temp. Um, so in the summer, it was taking a good like 30 to 40 minutes, but since it's cold outside, it really doesn't take that long. So I'm kind of just able to quickly transport everything into the fridge. I have seen other trucks do something a little different, which I'm hoping to eventually um, adapt into my own, which is they like load up their milks the night before and they keep their only the fridge connected to the house. Uh, that way it's like running and already at temp when they get to their event. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do that. I just need a really long extension cord for my setup. struggle of that big generator but that is the only reason I currently can't do events by myself there's no way for like me alone with like the car and the like setup I have right now to lift that thing by myself so a lot of events I either need to bring somebody with me or events that are close to home like this one um, I just have to come set up in between a time where Brian has like a break in his work day so he got off a meeting jumped in the car we drove our like five minutes down the road unloaded and now he's headed back to home to work and he'll come back to help me pack up um, but I'm here like an hour early which honestly is really nice because it gives me time to just kind of clean everything and just do some general like maintenance upkeep with the trailer and make sure we're in good shape. For your help. You're welcome. If you haven't already seen my trailer tour video, I will try to remember to post that below, but that just gives you a general idea of like where I have everything, how I have everything laid out. But during storage, she looks a lot messier because I keep everything, wow, my thumb. I keep everything 
super low to the ground so that it doesn't slide around too much when I'm moving. Okay, as I was saying, yeah, her natural state is pretty chaotic because I don't want things flying everywhere. So I try to just keep it all on the floor when we're moving. One thing you didn't see last time is I invested in this. Hopefully it will serve me well. It's really to be put on pallets to keep things from like, to keep things temp controlled when they're being shipped on pallets. But I bought it to wrap my machine in because I'm very nervous about the winter and having my pipes freeze. This is probably one of my last winter events like with this setup just because I'm, I don't want this machine to have any issues that obviously will be very expensive to fix. So I'm trying to keep it nice and warm while I can, but I'll probably remove it from the trailer within the next few weeks and figure out like a better winter solution. So stay tuned for that. Up to the sky and see beautiful colors. Could you live in the moment like there's no other? Okay, I usually like to get the generator, you can kind of hear it up and running about 30 minutes before I open. That way, I can make sure I get my fridge to temp and my espresso machine ready to start pulling shots. Um, and it gives me like a little bit of time to dial in and all that fun stuff. So, in the meantime, I just kind of mess around with whatever needs to be done around here to kind of get our uh, opening good to go. Uh, sometimes the square reader will decide it wants to update, so it's also good to get that plugged in and make sure it's connected to the Wi-Fi, um, or in my case, my hotspot on my phone. Um, I always just assume that there's going to be an update or something crazy happening there. That way I give myself extra time. I keep all of my merch in this nifty little kind of bag that my grandma gave me because she embroidered all of the crewnecks. And usually I'll decide based on the event if it's even worth putting merch out. Uh, for this one, I decided I'm at least going to put one crewneck design out in as many sizes as I have and beanies now that it's starting to get cooler. And of course, my like retail coffee bags, um, just in case anyone is interested. Um, one sale of like merch or a beat or coffee or whatever it may be is gonna do more for me than one cup of coffee. So if I think there's any chance someone might purchase some merch, I might as well put it out. Um, even though it's a little bit extra work, it's kind of a nice day today, so it's worth the um, struggle, I guess. until you have learned to care for yourself. So, before we open to the public, I am going to make myself a tasty drink. Remember when I was younger, the street lights called the day to an end. I'll trade my pillow for your company. You know I'd find the window of opportunity to paint A rainbow of silk and call it serendipity Now I've noticed whenever I try to record myself making a drink I feel like all standard procedures go out the window because I'm so worried about like recording and making it look nice so bear with me the ocean glows like we're in a movie You got so much sand on your body When my hands be moving softly mm -hmm. Distance 
Christmas was always kind. I can see by the good family friend of mine made me these cute little things to decorate the trailer with. So what you didn't see, because I'm obviously using my phone, is I was taking a couple pictures of the cup and these for some content. Um, this sticker is left over from an event that we had with an apartment complex, so we stickered the cups to kind of show that we were collaborating, but I like them, so I figured I'd still use up the rest of those stickers too. These slower events are also the reason I incorporated a bench over here. During busy events it's nice because if I have a friend or family visit and I really can't talk to them, I'll have them come in, sit on the bench, I can kind of talk and work while I'm making drinks. But for slower events, it's the perfect little like office. I like to sit down and kind of organize the next month of events that I have coming up, respond to inquiries, things like that. So I can multitask during the slower events so that I'm not taking away from time that I would be spending uh, prepping for my next events. So this video is going to have a little bit more talking content than I expected, um, mostly because it's such a slow event. But I tend to stay and stick them through because I still think it's good experience um, because the business is so new to still just be on the trailer and what else would I be doing right now. Um, so it at least gets me like comfortable in the space and able to kind of check on everything. But uh, that ramble is over. What I wanted to talk about is the fact that there will be events that are a hit or a miss. Um, I personally am still navigating what that means and um, what to char well what to pay for events. So the event that I'm at today doesn't charge me anything. So because I'm here alone at the end of the day, my loss really isn't that great. Um, I mostly lose money on the gas that I spent and then my personal time that it took me to get here and get set up. What's great is I have another event tomorrow, so none of my product really goes to waste because I'll just uh, save all of those milks and use them tomorrow, things like that. So um, this particular event isn't a huge loss, just um, obviously the time taken out of your day to be here.
So I'm just gonna do a time lapse. I like to get out of events like as fast as possible. So instead of like fully taking you through it, time lapse. Like I said, I didn't get a lot of the takedown. Um, I really try to leave events fast and then get it home. And I spend about another like 40 minutes to an hour cleaning. But our kind of farmer's market tradition is that I buy us food with the tip money when Brian helps me. So he's driving it home so that I can go to Jersey Mike's and get us some sub. But really all I do is pull the milks, put them in the fridge, same with all the syrups. I give everything a good wipe, I sweep, and make sure like the grinder and machine and all that is good and ready to go. I do have another event tomorrow, so I like run through all the dishes as quickly as possible and get everything back in the trailer and we start again. So hopefully this gave you a good inside look into kind of what a typical less busy event looks like. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, continuing to make these videos has been really great. It's allowed me to kind of watch the progress, um, watch this little business unfold. But if you want to keep seeing this stuff, it means a lot if you could subscribe, follow along with the business, um, and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Your support means the world. So thanks and cheers.